Have you seen the new FNAF trailer? Yes, I have indeed seen the new FNAF trailer for the movie Jack Black and JB. And holy crap, I am really excited to watch this movie when it comes out October 27th. Now, if you guys don't know already, the teaser trailer for the new FNAF movie just came out recently. And I and many hardcore FNAF fans out there have been waiting for this movie for years. The pre-production for this film has gone through hell. It took around like six to seven years of writing the script, finding a production studio, to even finding a director and cast. Also because sweet little Scott Cawthon couldn't come up with an idea for the script since, you know, from what I heard, he wrote the script, the screenplay for the film. And this whole film went through so many scripts. Glad they actually wrote one and stuck with it because Jesus Christ. I remember a few years back when, you know, there was talks of having Chris Columbus direct the FNAF movie, which that would have been interesting of that actually happened. And I believe Gil Keenan, hopefully I'm pronouncing that name right, who directed movies like Monster House was also planned to be a director for the FNAF movie as well back in 2015. So yeah, this movie has essentially been in the works since 2015. Pretty crazy stuff. Glad it's happening now. Glad we're getting a release date. I'm so excited, man. Brings a tear to my eye. Anyways, after God knows how long, we finally got the trailer and a couple of posters for the film released. And my first thoughts on the posters were, hey, that's pretty good. And my first thoughts on the trailer for the movie were, hey, that's not that bad. I was expecting it to be a lot worse, but hey, you know, I'm, I'm glad to see that it's not too bad. It looks pretty good. I'm going to be talking about the official trailer that came out tonight by the time of this recording and not the leaked trailer. But from what I can say about, you know, the leaked trailer that someone released, the leak trailer is very, very different from the one that we just got recently. There's a lot more stuff to it. It's a little bit longer. Either way, I don't want to show it in this video because my video will probably get taken down by uh, Scott Cawthon. And Freddy Fazbear is going to burst into my room and fucking rip my head off. <laughs> I noticed that the film is going to take the more well-known lore of the FNAF story and try to fit as much of it as they can in this film. So like, we're, you know, we got William Afton PURPLE GUY and the security guard. We got, we're, you know, we're going to get the five missing children stuff, you know, why the animatronics get quirky at night and many more lore related stuff. It's also been confirmed that Springtrap is going to be in this movie somehow. So, you know, I guess that'll be pretty interesting. It's, it, it's going to be interesting to see how they work Springtrap in this film. But from what I noticed about the trailer is that it's going to be heavily focused in the modern time period in the film with, you know, some flashbacks and dreamlike scenes that show, you know, how Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria became a thing and, you know, the history around it with William Afton and the Afton family and whatnot, so. Because at the beginning of the trailer, we see the security guard, you know, working the night shift at a rundown pizzeria, which makes me think that we're going to, you know, get flashback scenes throughout the film that show more about the lore of the establishment, when it was open, why it closed down and whatnot, right? We might even get the Bite of 87 scene in the movie. We're gonna be seeing a scene where the kid gets his frontal lobe chewed off by a silly little animatronic. How silly is that, man? So I guess that's kind of a cool thing that they're, you know, trying to fit most of the well-known lore into this film. Because, you know, obviously they can't, you know, fit all of the FNAF lore into the film because this film is most likely going to be like an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes long because it's a horror film. Usually that's the right amount of time period for a horror film like this. But hey, you know, glad to see Matthew Lillard as the purple guy in the movie. Also, he ain't so purple in this movie. The hell's up with that? Zero out of ten. Not watching it. I don't care. Video's done. I also want to bring up how cool the animatronics look in this film. Oh, ugh, holy fuck. Fuck, they look very accurate to the games. They look so good. The Jim Henson's Creature Shop kicked ass on this. Absolutely love it and probably my favorite part of the teaser and probably will be the, my favorite part of the movie. Love the animatronics, love how they look in this film. I love it, okay? I'm very excited to see more of it. One thing about the animatronics in this movie are these fucking weird ass blades and meat grinder things they have in them. What the fuck is this? Now, I'm assuming that this has to do with, you know, William Afton and his weird little fantasies of creating and building weird-looking animatronics that grind up people and children uh, and making them look this way and whatnot, so, you know. He is the man behind the slaughter, after all. I don't know how they're going to do this in the film. Like, we get a shot of the security guards 
with an S because, you know, in the trailer it shows two of them. In the same situation, and you know, in the chair getting ready to be shredded up by Freddy's big gaping blading mouth or whatever. But like, I don't know what the scene will be about in the film and how the characters are going to end up in those situations, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens in the film. One other thing that I want to bring up is the last couple of shots in the trailer where the little girl is hiding in the ball pit. The animatronics get a little bit quirky, not too much, but just a little bit quirky, and they have a look in the ball pit, you know, with the uh, with glowing red eyes and a very expressive face and eyebrows. To me, I saw that as kind of goofy and not really scary at all. Just the way the animatronics can have facial expressions when it comes to their eyebrows moving up and down like, uh, like they're angry. <laughs> And, you know, their eyelids squinting like Bonnie in this scene. It's just kind of bizarre and not what I was expecting for a FNAF movie. The film itself, from what I saw of it, looked pretty interesting, but, uh, you know, the film also looked like it isn't really trying to be very serious, too, when it comes to, you know, being scary and trying to make it an actual scary horror film. I mean, come on, it's a bunch of fucking robot animatronic bears trying to kill people at night. It's, supposed to, it's not supposed to be serious, but either way. This also explains why the rating of the movie is going to be PG-13. Not just that, but the fact that 90% of the FNAF fanbase are no more than 12 years of age, so of course they're going to be making the film PG-13. So those silly little FNAF kids can all watch the movie with their silly little parents. Do I think the movie's going to be a fun watch, though? Fuck yeah, it's gonna be a fun watch. I think it's going to be a lot of fun when, you know, I go into theaters with a bunch of friends, uh, where we all dress up in our little FNAF character costumes in the movie theater. That's gonna be so fun. I'm gonna be Foxy, okay? I'm gonna be Foxy. I called dibs on Foxy! Do I think the movie will be good, though? Eh, probably not. I personally think it's just gonna be like any other video game adaptation film and just be kind of mediocre like the Mario and Sonic movie. Also, I'm not much of a fan of most Blumhouse production films either way. I'm saying most Blumhouse films because there are a few that I absolutely love and so many that I fucking hate. But hey, I don't want to judge the film just quite yet till it comes out, okay? So these are just my thoughts right now. They might change when the film comes out. I'm going to do a full review when the movie comes out, okay? Okay. I am really excited to see it and to finally give my thoughts on the film when it comes out. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video! Bye bye Bye-bye! <laughs>